Yo, guys, do not mind the awkward crop. I just didn't know the shot was directly awful, but appreciate the words in the video and let's get into this. All right, I'm back. Most of you guys might know me as Cameron or on the internet as Jai. Jai dreams a lot, but now I just wanna come to you guys as Cameron Dyson. That's who I want you guys to call me as now, because that is my name that I was given by birth. For the longest time now, I've been doing like internet stuff, and I took a little break for about three months or so, just to focus on like e-com, e-commerce. And it, it was going pretty good, it's still going pretty decent. It's not really going bad. The time I spent, learning how to do e-commerce, or still learning how to do e-commerce, I basically learned how to go viral. And I went viral a couple of times. Like when I mean, when I say viral, I say like a million views or more. So after learning to go viral, it was really cool and it was really fun, but there's still something inside of me that just felt like really empty. Even though I was making like sales, and the majority of the dopamine came from making sales. Like every single time you get a sale on like Shopify's dashboard, like cha ching, the cha ching, you know? It's, it was amazing. But after that, you just feel empty. I didn't like that feeling too much. It was more like I mean, a mundane existence. You're just working towards something just to trash it. I didn't really have any attachment towards the work I was making. And if I did have an attachment and the product basically failed, I would have to stop it and go on to the next thing, which wasn't that fun. And it always made me think about my personal brand, about my rap, my rap career. Cause I made over like 300 plus songs at this point. 200 plus songs you guys can find on SoundCloud and I was growing that for like three years and the reason why I stopped that is, is I just fell out of touch with it and I always came back to e-com because I like the money the aspect of making money but at the same time e-com was just really empty because it's not really it's like you're building anything especially with the type of e-commerce I was doing. I was doing organic TikTok dropshipping. So I was just recording videos with like random items around my house. Not random items, but like with a product and then uploading the video in the hopes of it going viral. And I was able to make a couple products go viral. And in total, I had over like, I think now at this point, 30, 50 million views on just TikTok. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. But it always made me think about what if I put that same effort towards either my rap career or towards YouTube, where would I be? And that made me really think. I went to a museum with my dad and my little brother and we saw all this history, all this stuff, all these paintings, all these artifacts, you could say. And there were paintings up to 800 years old. And though that was those people's legacies. Though that was their existence. And it made me think back to what I was doing in my day-to-day -day life. And the only thing I could really show for it was a couple of viral videos. And the viral videos hadn't really brought me anything in my real life, other than just views. And what was I gonna go do? Go back to those viral videos? It just made me feel empty. And I thought back to a time when I was doing YouTube, doing my music, and I liked that because every day I was working towards something bigger than myself, towards actually not just something bigger than me, but my, my legacy, what I would stand for at the end of the day. And I liked that a lot. That's why I come back here and I I make these videos. That's why I propped up the camera. And I said, F it, man. 
let's just do this because for about two three weeks now all i've been thinking about was just starting a channel up again but i didn't know what to do i didn't know what kind of channel i wanted to start whether i wanted to make a profit or do it for fun and obviously you can't just do something without making money or else you're gonna die broke but then i looked at those paintings then you have like leonardo da vinci you have some of the other painters that i can't really think about off the top of my head right now and they were just doing it for the fuck of it for fun that was interesting to me it wasn't just today it was over the last few days me and my friends were watching mr beast videos in discord <laughs> yeah mr beast and i liked his videos i liked what he was standing for because when you watch a mr beast video he isn't selling something to you he's just entertaining you he's he's entertainment he's something for you to watch something for you to listen to somebody you can learn from and not just somebody to sell you something like most of these youtubers are right now most of them are just salesmen i didn't like that at all you just feel like every time you get on a video they're trying to sell you something i didn't like that but with mr beast it just felt authentic it felt like he was just purely there to make you happy and entertained at the end of the day and just a few minutes ago i decided something told me in my head let's look at mr beast's history and i go back through his history and i'm looking at his older videos from eight plus years ago and well his videos are nothing like what they are now in eight years it took eight years for mr beast to get to where he's at right now and when he started he was making call of duty videos and he was just commentating over them and just off of that, he was able to build his fan base. And of course he evolved. But watching him do that just made me say, F it, man. I'm gonna pick up this fucking camera and just make it. Make the videos. Why wait for something? Why wait for inspiration? I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna squeeze that inspiration out of me just inspired me and I'd like to say thank you Mr. Beast thank you very much for that <laughs> you're probably not watching this but hopefully one day you are that really inspired me to just pick up the camera and he had these videos that he was making where his fan base kept asking him to make a certain kind of video but he decided that he would still give them that video once a week. But at the same time, the other six days of the week, he would make whatever he wanted. And that's what I want to do. It seems like an existence that's fun. <laughs> Especially since you have the camera rolling, it gives you a little bit more motivation. And also at the same time, more initiative to keep pushing. And it gives you a reason to keep going. That's what I liked about it. So, I'll keep making these videos as long as you guys keep watching. And even if you don't watch, I will still make the videos. Just tell me which ones you guys don't like and which ones you guys do like. And I'm going to try and make at least a weekly video and work myself up to daily videos. I hope that's good enough for you guys. It's Cameron here, otherwise known as Jai, and I'm out guys. Peace, Just Young Entertainment.